Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us. Um, first thing I want to do is give a couple shout outs um, to a Mr. Glenn Swifty um, who sent me a really nice Christmas card and I want to say thank you for that. And then I also want to give a big shout out to Chris McCartney who donated to my PayPal um, and told me to go have a cold one on him and I will do that sir thank you so much it is really and truly humbling thank you guys and then of course I wanna say a big Merry Christmas to everybody out there and I hope you have a wonderful and safe happy holiday season so now what am I holding in my hand this would be the old Cobb uh, Raper off of the 1989 it's all aluminum you see it's got the aluminum top none of that plastique plastique so what we're going to do is I'm going to clean this one up it's pretty yucky on the bottom and we can we're going to open it up. Now this, the engine that it came off was having some water in the cylinder type problems. Um, but this was a running um, engine that it came off of. But one thing that this one, even though it's an 89 and I'm going to put it on the 2004 Johnson. Um, they both have the little nipple right there for the primer um, albeit the one that's on the 2004 that stabs into the plastic piece so it should be just fine they're both off 30 horse 1989 2004 but I found that with those newer improved improved uh, garbage raiders with the plastic top they can be problematic with that plastic top I've always wanted to take one and see if I couldn't actually make a cover for one of those plastic topped uh, rapers and see if it would function but the plastic gets a little warped I think and then it sucks air up under there um, so I think you could probably double up the gaskets or maybe cut a thinner gasket plus the original yada yada but uh, on this makeover that I'm doing here we've got the tooth flywheel from the 89 we've got the recoil from the 89 and because this is an all aluminum carb I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up and we're gonna put it on there because once you put the starter solenoid left side bracket and everything on there you can't get the um, carburetor off you can't get that right hand nut on and off there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first so that's where we're heading and then we're gonna do some electrical and stuff let's get at it well, like I said this this carburetor here was the motor was running so I'm just gonna give it a good soak in the uh, I kinda do like this super clean foam stuff for that this application looks like it snowed all over it kinda looks like that oven cleaner but uh, I'm going to let this soak for oh, a minute or two and then I'll lather it up. Then I'll rinse it off, just hot soapy water, and then uh, we'll look in the inside. But I don't expect it to be bad because, like I said, it was off a running motor. So I, I don't see where it's going to be real bad in there. But uh, we'll let her soak and I'll scrub it around, rinse it off, and I'll be back. Okay. 
Okay, we got the outside all cleaned up, looking good, and all that yuck off of there. Now let's look in the inside, see what we're, see what we're dealing with. Say what's on the inside. not too bad at all like I said this was off a running motor so I really wasn't expecting it to be really bad or anything here's the needle and it's all looking good yeah this thing looks pretty good and so all I'm gonna do with this guy here is I'm gonna make sure that you can see here's the top welch plug the transition chamber there's holes right up under here three or four little holes that some are really small and then they get a little bigger and then so forth and I'm just gonna take a guitar string a high E guitar string or a fine piece of wire and make sure those holes are open same with right in here the emulsion tube I'll stick a long guitar string down in there make sure all these holes are opened and I'll take some regular spray can carburetor cleaner and spray that all out good and then blow it out same with this little hole here for your primer I'll run a little wire through that make sure that's good and clean spray some cleaner through there then compressed air and put it back together and uh, after I blow it off the last time I'll spray some tri-flow around in these same holes and everything and put her back together and we'll same here a little carb intake cleaner right in there compressed air clean it all up put it back together and we'll get it on that 2004 Johnson I'll be back Getting her a little cleaned up here on the recoil. There's still some dirt down there. Okay, so here's a little wire. Hopefully, I doubt that's going to show up. But anyway, I bend it, just bend it, and then take that flap. and get in them little holes up in that transition chamber I'm sorry but this thing is bent at the wrong angle let me pinch it 
I'll get there. There. Will that do? Okay. And just make sure those little holes there are open and clean. Squeak, 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 squeak. And there's at least three of them, if not four. I can see one, but I can't get in there. Hmm. There you go. You can probably even see it. So I see four of them total, I think. One, two, three, four. One appears to be off to the side. We get, where's it at? There it is. Okay. That one, there's two up front, two in the back. Mm -hmm. Can't see. There we go. Now, give them another shot of the old, any old carburetor intake cleaner. Then, so you thought I was kidding about them guitar strangalangs. Now, let's take, oh, one about. Let's see that size right there. And we'll go through the emulsion tube. All the way up in there with that nice long string. Squeak, 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 squeak. Same thing. Give it another shot. There we go. Same thing down through your needle seat and then I'll need a smaller one probably for the uh, little choke or primer see it coming through squeak 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 I don't know if you can see it or not squeak 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 make sure it's all clean okay then I come over here I come right over here where you can't see me. I'll be back. And I get some compressed air. Blow it through all them same. See that's where your gas comes up through to, to the needle. Your gas comes through there through a hole in the bottom of it and through the seat there. And then get to blow them transition. Look at there. That came off. We we'll stick it back in. So that's about all I'm going to do on this one because it was a pretty clean garbage raider anyway. Uh oh, lost one of my stringalings. Put that back there. Okay, then what I like to do just to freshen up the gaskets and all is I like to take a little of the tri flow. Oh, yeah, we got the almost forgot. We got to run a nice something up through that drain. It's got a little something, but huh. right there in that high jet in that bowl. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, I can see it. And you want to make sure that that high jet's open. What I like about using these guitar strings, let me get a bigger one and I can show you, is there, anybody that plays guitar, and maybe you can see it on camera, they're wrapped. So it's a solid core wire that's wrapped with a bronze wire. So it's like a pipe cleaner. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> But, so it's got little ridges there, so if there's some gunk 
on like that high jet, it cleans it really good. Like getting in there. You get the you get the parent. So a little bit of tri flow on the gaskets and uh, everywhere in there. And we'll get the old oh yeah, I gotta put some down. There we go. And that's all this one's really gonna need. So let's get our night urgent seat. Now it's all lubed up in there. Make sure we get everything lined back up. This one's actually really clean. But like I said, it came off a running motor. So there she is. If you can see the needle working there. A distance, yeah, it's about right. Nice and level with the body there, you see. Nice and level with the body there. With the body there, the body. Okay. So get that. Don't forget to put that little emulsion gasket in there. That's important. And we got our gasket there all fresh. We got our bowl cleaned. And, and something else I like to do before I run these screws home, a little bit of tri flow on them threads. Can't hurt. Now, I think I've showed you this before this little hack. If you're going to use one of these, you want to come in at an angle. And just run them home, but don't tighten them with this. Let it just lightly come in at a little bit of an angle, and it'll stutter, stutter. It's just aluminum, and you can crack it. Then take your regular old fashioned drill. That's what this is. Can you imagine? I can't even imagine not having a cordless. But yeah, don't run them home tight with the cordless there. That's a good way to crack some aluminum in them. Especially don't do it on them plasticky, on them improved carburetors. Tighten them on home with, with your hand screwdriver. So you can feel how much tick you're putting on there. Okay. A little more tri flow, a little on that. Put that right back in its little nest there with its slot. Spray some of that. Get her started. No, I mean really get her started. Got to push in on them a little bit sometimes. There we go. And now we will, I will put this to a light seat and then back it out one and a half turns. That's good enough to get her to run. Then once everything's up to temp and all that, we can, we can do the rest. There it is, so half and one and a half. There we go. So that one's ready to go back on. Let me get the other one off, I'll be back. Okay, so we got it on there, but before I put the bolts on, I'm gonna go ahead and put my zipper ties on least on the bottom one because it's harder to get to. Uh, uh, uh. 
with this contraption. Bing! Got that one. And go ahead and put this one on. Over into here. There. Now, now we're getting this. We're getting this. Okay. You see, this is the nut right here. That one. That is almost impossible to get to. Um, well, I think it is impossible to get to with that starter on there. It just ain't going to happen. You've got to get, because that starter sits right here. So, that's why I wanted to try this. All aluminum. Deal out. And we're at least going to just see if it runs okay, about the same. And... You know, you know. Did you notice I painted up the flywheel, made it all pretty? I'm gonna show you a little hack with the, uh, the painting on on that recoil. I'll show you something that I I've been known to do. All right, so just snuggy, just snuggy, baby. Just get it snug. You don't want to over tighten it. There we go. One more time. Check this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, everything's hooked up good, I think. Now. We're going to have to get that recoil back on here so we can give it a start. And this recoil is still a little wet from where I washed it. It'll do at the moment. Oh, we almost didn't hook that up. Well, I can hook that up in a second. We wouldn't have been going nowhere. You got a shorty over here on this side. You got two longs, the rest of them. And I run them home with the zippy gun. If I got them on, I got you. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Where my zippy, 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 zippy gun? There we go. Go. All righty. Now. It's quite dark outside, but I'm going to open, in addition to my noisy sucker fan, I'm going to open this door a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. We got her hooked up. And we'll get you in there. Right in there, I think. I squeeze the bowl. It feels like it's going in. Sure does. Undo my hand. Okay. There we go. Well, she squeezed up nice and firm. I 
never did hook this up, see? Oh, come on. There. Now I did that. There she comes. Alright. Now. Sixty one in the garage. So you can see this is a dead cold engine. Sixty on the front. All right. So she's cold. Let me move it over here. Probably put that. Up. Of course, it's hard for you guys to see. I know. That's better, I guess. That's a little better. Okay, I'm gonna turn on a noise box. Let's see what we get. something in a video that I think I'm just mumbling to myself but I think it's important I will put some captions down there when I edit the video if I cannot remember but uh, yeah so I can show you I can show you I show you There. You got the plasticky. Garbage raider. And you got the all aluminum. Cabarepa. And I think I'll stick with this one for now. I just like this all aluminum. So this is off an 89. This is off. A 2004 off the original to this motor okay now I'm gonna show you something now I painted up that uh, recoil or oh, excuse me you no know I, I cleaned up that recoil but I didn't paint it because it, it really don't need paint it uh, 
it has good paint on it. So I don't really need to paint it. But it looks kind of dull. Let me get this crud off of the uh, nut there. I don't like that. And you'll get the idea. So, what I often do Okay, so I washed it good in the uh, tank there. And uh, if I was going to paint it I'd have to do just blow it off a little bit, you know, you know, just a little bit. So what I do, okay, what I do, I had to find it. Um, here's a little hack that you can do. Oh, ain't that looking better? fingers because see this already had good paint on it so I didn't need to paint it but boy look at that shine now ain't that pretty because see if I would have painted that black I would have to either take it off or mask off the the bolts because you don't want them to look painted and then off the little stickers but this one looked pretty good so I didn't need to paint it, but I want it to be pretty. I still got stuff. So, here's the hack. Can you see that? Gloss. Crystal clear. And you get 25% more. You can get 25% more in aisle five. Um, yeah, just get you some of this. Rust-oleum. No, it's not rust-oleum. It's Krylon. Same thing, only different. Um, yeah, you know this. The this the paint was just dirty. It was it did it wasn't all chipped up or banged up. Um, the paint looked fine on it, but it had that dull look. And after I washed it, so we just take some of this Krylon gloss, crystal clear, and look at it. It looks just like I spent all day in a paint booth by George. Okay, I've run into my first little obstacle on this makeover. This, what you're looking at is the 89. And we're going to use this for a... Uh... Oops, sorry about that. We're going to use this... For a learning, a learn it moment. Okay, here's the learn it moment. Let me get you tilted right. See it? Right there. See it, what that says right there? There's your learn it moment. Okay, so here's the obstacle. Um, this is the 89. Let me back you out. That's the 89, obviously. And you see it's got a little shelf right here and a little plate right there that holds the uh, throttle ball and all that where the cable comes in so it's a little different this pan is a little different um, 
with that setup right there. That one bolt on the 89. It's got this pan is cut a little different right in here. The cut is a little different. So let's roll it over here and I'll show you. I'll show you. So here is the much nicer 2004. And you can probably see they did the old improvement on it. So this is cut off, cut out right here. It's The other one sticks out further. And then they put the new improved plastic garbage here. That's my little ground screw. Um, yeah, so it's got a plastic piece that the throttle cable hooks to. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be in the way or not, but one thing I already did, get you over here, was when I went to put the starter on, and this is easy to overcome, the actual wire that comes from the solenoid around to the front of the starter is hitting that plastic piece. That can be easy overcome by getting a longer wire and routing it over top of the solenoid or up under and through whatever. That's, that's an easy fix. And that looks like if I get rid of that, it might not interfere with that uh, throttle assembly. So I'm going to unscrew this nut off of here, this brass solenoid nut and try not to drop it with my fumbly fat fingers. Did I ever mention I got big old fat fingers? Where's my washer, my little star washer? I don't want to lose it. Don't want to lose it. Oh, I'll drop it. You can almost... Plus, I'm trying to do it with the gloves on. And that ain't gonna happen, probably. There it goes. Gravity. Use gravity. Okay, so... Let's see. So we got that unhooked and out our way. Let me get a wrench real quick and loosen it on the actual starter motor as well. And what size is that? Yeah. So. If we can get some of this oof out our way, maybe, let me see, and I got the ground wire, put him down out of my way too, boy it's going to be tight, it's close, look at that, okay, we still got to get all the way back to the riser, I don't want to bang too much because Well, it just barely fits in there, don't it? Get that out of my way. Riser's almost there. I don't know if it's going to make it, though. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I don't want to break none of that plastico. Because we break that. You understand us? I speak of Spanish. Hmm. Might have to loosen it down there, not sure. Sometimes you can raise the riser. I don't want to break it. Let me get you over here so I can see the other side of it. Yeah. Oh well. We're on the, the stud that sticks out of the front. We're okay there. Here's where I'm having the issue. It's on this riser. I wonder if I... I doubt it would. Oh, wait a minute. There it went. It dropped down just a second. Hey, look at there. Well, looky there. We are almost there. Look at there. Now, I still got to put these little... You know, you know. These little things. 
All right, Cramden, what do they call that? I'm sure it has an official OMC part number, blah, blah, blah. But look, we are there and we cleared that. God, I mean, if you could see it, <laughs> there's... Boy, that, that's the distance. Probably about an eighth of an inch. Now, I could, I think, loosen this 3 8 bolt here and, and move that piece of plastic just a little if I needed to, but I don't need to. We're there. Um, if you can see the stud here, that's where the nut goes. The nylock goes there. But you see, you'd never get to that. <laughs> you cannot get to that carburetor nut with that starter in there. They just give you enough room. But my bolt holes both look, I can see threads in both of them, so they're lined up. And I'm not sure if I could use this. I think I'm going to have to come around. Boy, there ain't no room in there either. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to get a little bit longer and come up under all this and come up to the starter positive. But, I'm going to go ahead and loosely put the uh, bolts and stuff in. I'm going to go ahead and get the little riser clamp things on. And I'll be back. Well now, this video is getting a little bit long. So you boys and girls need to hit the hay. So when Santa comes, you might get that new outboard boat you've been wanting. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to one and all from Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.